welcome to the morning show. We're coming to you today on WJOPLP New Report at FM 96.3 on Channel 9 and on New Report Community Media's YouTube channel at ncmhub.org. Today I'm happy to report that we're talking about the upcoming Open Studios in Amesbury, <laughs> which will be happening on November 9th and 10th. And today we have the perfect people here to talk to us about what's <laughs> happening at Open Studios 2024. <laughs> and Johnson is here. She's co-chair of the Amesbury Cultural Council, and she's been painting since she was 10 years old, and she's lived in Amesbury for 30 years. She recently retired for the second time from the wonderful <laughs> Our Neighbor's Table, so now she gets to spend even more time painting and teaching at her studio of 20 years at the Artist Muse in Amesbury. And thank you so much and welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, Mary. Sally Nutt is here. She's also co-chair of the Amesbury Cultural Council along with Anne, and she tells us that she fell in love with performing arts when cast in her riveting fourth grade Arbor Day play many moons ago, and don't you wish we had a video of that? And if you do, we'll get a hold of it somehow, Sally. Since then, her artistic world has expanded, especially since joining the Cultural Council 18 months ago. Sally, thank you so much for taking time to visit the show. And we have also Heather Karp here. She's an award-winning large-scale abstract painter and digital illustrator who lives in Amesbury and has a studio at 14 Cedar Street in Amesbury. And her work explores the intersection between the distortions of the mind, including the difficulty and beauty of that experience, which I identify with and will explore more later when we talk with Heather in more detail about her artwork. So welcome to thanks. you, Heather, and thanks for taking time to meet here. Well, this is the 28th year, very impressive, of Open Studios, and Maeve, if you could put up the brochure cover for Open Studios this year, and maybe let's start, let's talk a little bit about this striking um, painting that's on the brochure cover. Who is the artist for this, um, and how was the artist selected? Um, the artist is Ellen Sullivan Taylor. Mm -hmm. um, each year for Open Studios, we ask um, all the artists, there's a call for art, yeah. and artists submit their work, and um, we meet as a group, the Cultural Council, and we uh, vote, and we mm -hmm. choose the cover, and this year we had about 30. Wow. Um, 30 entries. It was difficult. We try yeah. and have people submit artwork with an Amesbury theme. Yeah. And um, Ellen's painting of the um, community gardens at Battis Farm just just popped. Yeah. And it was vibrant. You need something that has that can catch the eye. Yeah. Um, and that's the one that we chose. Well, it fits the bill mm -hmm. on all of those counts. It does. So. It does. Um, well. You all been working with Open Studios for a while, probably not 28 years, um, <laughs> but a while, and so you've seen it evolve and grow. And so I was hoping that you could, we could also um, tell us a little bit about how you've seen the event evolve and grow over the years um, since it was started 28 years ago. I would guess one of the big things is the community involvement in general. Uh huh. Uh, just even the be the businesses downtown. Uh, in terms of sponsorship yeah. as well as involvement offering particular deals during the two-day event. Yeah. I think, I'm not too sure, for instance, like when the trolley car started, we offer a trolley car that runs Which is around. a great idea. It is. So good. Yeah. And uh, for the first time last year, we, we have volunteers who host on board the trolley. Oh, wonderful. And, and it's great fun. And uh, last year was the first time I volunteered for that. And that was when it opened up to me how popular that mm. trolley car is. And listening to folks' comments as they go around. And there's a broad spectrum of ages that get mm -hmm. on. and um, The kids yeah, love I, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think the stores have gotten involved a yeah. lot more over the years. Um, when wonderful. I was at the Artist Muse, I don't think there was as much um, retail involvement. Mm -hmm. And now, and I think that helped propel us um, into the community. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't know there are so many art studios That's in Amesbury. True. Yeah, There's those are warehouses. People may yes. know they're there, they're there, but they may not know how much creativity is going yeah, on Yeah, there's inside. a lot of creativity yeah. happening in Amesbury. Yeah. And I think the shift of Amesbury, so I grew up in Amesbury. Uh, oh. Very different environment. Yeah. Um, New Report was more of the art hub. Uh-huh. I would argue that Amesbury is more Definitely. where the artists reside hanging. and yeah. hang in and really creating. And yeah. um, that's grown our open studio too. Oh, I think, wonderful. Yeah. 
what I've noticed, I've, this is my 19th open studio tour. Uh, oh, wow. This is my first helping to run it, but mm -hmm. my, the 19th as, as a participant, as an artist. And I've noticed uh, just a huge uptick in people. We have mm -hmm. anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 people come into Amesbury wow. over the weekend. And I've noticed uh, repeat customers, people that look forward mm -hmm. to that weekend and come back. I think that um, that is a huge part of oh, Open Studios. Yeah. We have several artists that are being hosted by businesses, as Heather said. The oh. businesses are getting involved. Mm -hmm. um, several businesses downtown are hosting artists. They're on the map, so they not only do the guests or people come to see the artists, they can yeah. they can mm. see the new businesses in town. Yeah. Restaurants are offering deals that weekend, yeah. and definitely the trolley is huge. There's 11 trolley stops. Wow. It goes all over town to each venue. And for those, you know, that, you know, it's a great walk around Amesbury. Yeah. Amesbury's not that big, but the trolley really does open up participation to more people. Yeah. Mm. Well, it strikes me that a trolley ride is the next best thing after a hay ride. I know. Yeah, exactly. Because you know? there's a novelty to it. Yeah, yeah. so that sounds great. And so what true. I'm hearing from you is the expansion of people's understanding of what an artistic hub mm. um, Amesbury is, and that are really interesting and creative things going on in those big old brick. Um, yes, you know, mm -hmm. definitely. Mills. Definitely. Um, and also that the, you know, that businesses and other places in the community are now participating in. It. And you get people, I think, from a fairly wide geographic area now. Mm -hmm. It's, it's all over, yes. far all from over. just yeah. people from Newsburg, Amesbury and Newbury. Yes. yes. And I think that goes also, Mary, to uh, the, the it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think one of the things that's also expanded is we have two venues this year where artists who do not have their own studios, ah. or at least in town, mm -hmm. yeah, they come to, we've got City Hall this year, oh, great. as well as um, the Costello Room at the Senior Center, yeah. and that filled up really, really quickly. quickly. Oh, and wonderful. artists yeah. signing up. It's a great big art fest. And I don't think it you is. have to be an Amesbury resident. To be no, to be a guest artist, you, you don't. You, you don't, don't have to be yeah. an Amesbury artist. We, we have um, people from Reading, from Beverly, oh. um, from from all over that uh, look forward to that weekend. Okay. And it's relatively inexpensive for mm -hmm. people to register. Most art fairs and, and shows are, are it can be inexpensive. Yeah. Um, for the artists, and this one's not, and Wonderful. so it really does open it up to, so to it's a lot really of different inclusive people. in that it's way. It's really very, very much so, and expands the community yep. and the and feeling it, of community. Mm -hmm. And it's not a juried show, which is yeah. nice because everybody can participate. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, you've mentioned the expansion among, you know, the retailers and, and guest artists and some of the venues. What are some of the other things that are new this year that you're particularly excited about? I think there's live music? Or? Um, there's always been live music. There's, uh -huh. There'll be live music at City Hall and uh -huh. at the Costello Center. The venue of the Costello Center. The vent, oh, yes, right, that's so new. Um, yeah. There's going to be um, a poetry event at the um, Whittier House on the 10th. Oh, they wonderful. are also hosting an artist, um, they believe it's Susan Spellman, um, ah. at the Whittier Home on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I think there's going to be a, a poetry event that wonderful um, to add to the, oh, to the art. Idea. Right, yes. Um, well, that sounds very exciting. Mm. Um, well, and, and I think it's helpful for people to know that this is an event that is, it's not just oil paintings, acrylics, and watercolor, but there are many other kinds of art and mm -hmm. artists mm -hmm. that are featured, um, including, and Maeve, at this point, if you could show the, um, the photo of the Red Barn uh, by photographer Jim Scorlitis. Um, and after that, we'll be showing uh, ceramic work by Eisen. Hakioglu. I hope I'm pronouncing people's names. I'm just doing. I'm doing my best. I promise. And then there's a fused glass artwork by Andrea Store. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't think I've hit everything. I think there are even other kinds mm -hmm. of. So, talk a little Absolutely. bit about the varied forms of artwork that people will see um, in the studios mm -hmm. or at some of the other venues. Cedar Street has probably almost 30 artists. Wow. Um, and again, very unknown, I think, mm -hmm. that, that there's that many of us in the building. Yeah. And uh, ranges from, there's a lot of fabric artists, oh. jewelry artists, oh. some magnificent yeah. jewelry artists, mm -hmm. uh -huh. photography, um, metal work, mm -hmm. sculpture, there's a weaver, um, potters, wow. painters, yeah, there's a lot 
of different medium yeah. happening in um, at Cedar Street and all over town, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of our stops is Sincere Metalworks, and they'll be doing a demonstration about sculpture and metal oh. and metalworking. Um, at the Artist Muse, there will be um, a demonstration of silk printing, oh, uh, excuse me, screen printing, So because yeah. we have a new screen printer. Um, so there are, it, again, it's not just painting, it's, yeah. it's all, um, all, all different types of, of art. Creativity yes. and an mm -hmm. opportunity not just to enjoy and appreciate the finished works, but also to learn something about the processes mm -hmm. and the technology that's involved in creating um, silk screening or, or metalwork. That sounds fascinating. Mm -hmm. It is. I think a lot of artists do try and you know, create during mm -hmm. the tour. Yeah. Sometimes it's really hard because it's busy, which is yes. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. I've tried a couple of times to, to be painting <laughs> yeah. in my studio, and it just doesn't work just because no. people want to engage and no people want to talk. So yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've tried it a couple times. Yeah. I don't know if you have, but I it, have. It, it, it's <laughs> really hard. It's morphed over the years. Mm -hmm. So I used to do demos, uh -huh. and I just have so much. I, I prefer doing more of the interaction with the people. And yes. there's just, I agree. I mean, I agree. last year within one day, I mean, I my it's standing room only in my studio. Oh. I have a corner spot yeah. right near the elevator, so yeah. there's two doors, so there's constant action happening. Yeah. So what I've decided um, to do this year, and I did it at a sound healing that I hosted in my mm -hmm. studio last month, mm. was um, have canvas up that's empty, oh. and people can, I want to have oh, a group, really a community oh, painting. That's a great oh, idea. Yeah, and I, I, I want to, oh, and what maybe. What a fun idea. Yeah, and I think it would be kind of interesting to yeah. auction it off and yes. donate the money to Absolutely. the cultural council after. That's so, just brilliant. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, there's all kinds of ways to kind of do yeah. that. So yeah. that'll be um, something that happens in my oh, studio. Oh, that's wonderful. I, yeah. also, I also like that it's a, it's it's a family event. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. We welcome kids, yeah. and yes. kids are mm -hmm. so inquisitive, and they want to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. yes. They want to look at the paintings, yeah. and um, I think families take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. There it really is a great energy. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a great yeah. weekend. Yeah. And, and yeah. most of our studios, the, I mean, it's a working studio. Mm -hmm. It's yes. not like you're going to a gallery yeah. and everything's pristine. No, right. No, not so, at all. and you have all those kids coming in and yeah. wanting to like look at all the materials. I'm sure. And that's one of my favorite parts yeah, because I, 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 I'm the, I was that kid. So. Yeah. <laughs> just, just to see the excitement. Yes, yes. Um, so. And you're right, it's because <laughs> I've been to it the last few years. Um, and uh, it's just a very festive kind of environment. Mm. Um, so, well, I wanted to ask you, Anne and Heather, you're both artists, and I was hoping you might be willing to tell us a little something about the type of art that each of you do and what you enjoy the most or find most gratifying about being an artist and the work that you do, whoever would like to start. Um, um, so I am a very realistic painting, painter. I paint in watercolor, uh, pastels and uh -huh. oils. I started in, in watercolor when I was very, very young, yeah. kind of took a break and then started back up again. Um, I just enjoy the peacefulness of it, the quiet, mm -hmm. the time just passes, you just kind of get involved mm -hmm. in what you're doing and the time just passes and it's a great it's a great way to express what you're feeling and, and what's going on in your life. And I just, I, I love it. I love where I am. The energy at the Artist Muse right now is just incredible. Yeah. It's very collaborative. We just did um, a group critique, which was really fun. And it's just a great place to just, to to enjoy and 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 create. And I'm also teaching a little bit too, so oh, that's, wonderful. that's fun. Um, wonderful. So. You know, Anne, the way you talk about it makes me think of um, a few years ago, there was a book called Flow, The Optimal Experience. There's mm -hmm. a Czechoslovakian um, psychologist named Mihai Chicks at Mihai, mm -hmm. and he talks about flow um, being kind of totally absorbed in what you're doing. So you totally lose track of time. You do. I, I, that's happened It could have been eight so hours, and you don't much. know because you're right there in the flow, and that's what made you make, we were talking about. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Heather, how about you? And Maeve, if you could put up, we have some examples of Heather's work that we can show you while Heather talks about um, your, your artwork? Uh, well, I started painting um, after I had a ruptured brain aneurysm at oh the my. age of 29. Oh, um, Heather. I'm, several I'm glad years you're okay. After. Thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it was a sudden event that um, I wasn't aware that I had yeah. um, an aneurysm. And um, so I kind of had to shift 
life w within a split second. Um, yeah. My life sh changed. So um, I decided um, to learn how to paint. And in mm -hmm. fact, from um, circumstance, you know, um, yeah. rehabbing and healing. Yeah. Um, and that kind of took off. And yeah. I remember um, I was walking my son down High Street here in Newburyport, uh -huh. and on the corner of Kent and mm -hmm. High Street, um, there's this yellow house that had, at the time had a red door, mm. and the light was hitting it oh. in the most magical way. Oh. And I was, I said to myself, I have to go home and paint that. Oh, wow. So that was the first painting I ever did. Oh, what a great story. And um, mm. I, I know the owner of that painting now. Uh -huh. um, and from there, it kind of took off, and that was, what, it'll be 25 years. Wow. Um, basically um, when I had the hemorrhage. So, um, and I didn't start painting more full-time until um, probably during COVID, I uh -huh. guess, a little bit pre-COVID. Uh -huh. And I do, um, I started as an oil painter and then mm -hmm. transitioned into acrylic just mm -hmm. through teaching. Um, I did probably six or seven years of teaching um, at the cultural, com uh, the senior centers uh -huh. yeah. uh, to the uh, seniors, which was like the best experience. Aww. And I loved acrylics. So uh -huh. um, I kind of stuck with that. And I also do a digital art, um, which I absolutely love. Uh -huh. And um, the reason I paint, uh, it's multifaceted. Um, for me, there is a flow state, but there's also an internal struggle that exists mm -hmm. extremely. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I would say if you asked 10 artists, 10 artists are gonna say there is a fight in, in the brain mm -hmm. happening at all times. Mm -hmm. yep. um, to you know that inner critic that everyone has. Oh uh, yeah. So okay. yeah. yeah, and um, hmm. I he I think I hear that voice more, mm -hmm. and um, painting allows me to kind of um, put it in its place. I was going to ask you <laughs> how do you, how do you get it to quiet so yeah. you can go ahead and be creative. Keep practicing. I don't let it control me. Just be me. engaged in the activity you yes. mean and, and 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 don't give it. Don't let it kind of take over. No, I let it. I'm like, yeah. go, go, go to the back of the bus. Yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm in the driver's seat. Quiet. <laughs> yeah. Quite You're not helpful. Out. I think just keep, you keep practicing. And yes. It's oh. always yes. a practice. It's yeah. always, always a practice. Yeah. And, you know, over COVID, I think we all had a chance to yeah. just be in our spaces and, and paint and yeah. also, you know, I'm very lucky I'm retired so I have yeah. that time mm -hmm. yeah. and I have noticed that I'm, I'm definitely getting I can see you know advances and yes and, but it is it's it's practice um, constant yeah. constant and, and it the joy it brings me oh I yeah. can't even explain you can't the joy I feel painting wonderful and being able to create yeah. and I would not Trade it for the world. Oh, that's wonderful. No. Oh, thank you both I for agree. those <laughs> insights into the artist's mind. And um, you know, I, I, I um, your story about the yellow house and the red door is, is really striking to me because it sounds as though, you know, um, the light chose you <laughs> you know yeah and I love stories like that where we're out there in the world and an opportunity we didn't know was even possible no. finds us and imprints itself yes. on us which I think um, is inspiring and encouraging it is life. and I, I feel so, like I have moments like that wonderful my life wonderful yeah. I love how you see that I feel and like we you. are constantly searching for that painting uh. I can't walk somewhere or look at something without I don't look at you look at color you look at light you don't and you're constantly searching mm -hmm. and I always have a camera with me and uh. I have yelled to my husband pull over pull over <laughs> we need to take a picture of that so many times wonderful so you're always I think you're, it's always it's a search you're yeah. always yeah. searching for yeah. that light and that color mm. and it's a very meaningful search and I imagine a very gratifying one, um, just to have a quest for meaning in your life that forms a kind of a drive. Yes. Um, so you all are going to have a lot of people wanting to come learn how to paint. <laughs> <laughs> Hope so. Hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just put it's that a, out there. It's, it's, it's building open studios is coming up very soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's my, I well, have one of Heather's paintings in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's in a very early work at the Boston Public Garden. Oh, it was a, it's oh, a picture of the bridge, and it's my 
my husband loves oh. the public garden and the bridge, yeah. and it's a it's a picture of that, and I have oh, it wonderful. hanging in my bedroom. <laughs> oh, great! Yeah. Well, I uh, I really uh, wanted to find out from 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 both of you what does it mean to you to have your studio opened up to the public? I mean, you talked a little bit about that earlier when you talked about you know the the collaborative painting, but what's it like for you as an artist? What does it mean to you? How why is it important to mm. you to have this happen? And what do you enjoy about it? Um, painting can be isolating. Yeah. Um, even yeah. though there's thirty of us in that yeah. space. Yeah. Uh, most of doors are closed, and uh -huh. it, so you're you're you are painting in isolation. Yeah. Um, and even though I consider myself an introvert mm -hmm. and prefer my time, mm -hmm. um, I love connecting with people. Yeah. I love feeling their energy mm -hmm. and seeing how they respond to my work. Yeah. I never tell people what my work is about mm -hmm. right away. If they ask, mm -hmm. I love that conversation. Yeah. But um, I would say 90% of the time, people come to me with pretty much similar um, description mm. of how it makes them feel, mm -hmm. um, like happy, oh. like joyful, mm -hmm. oh. um, lighter, freer. Well, that yeah. must be balm for the artist's soul. <laughs> it is. It is. It's kind of how I see myself, oh. even with internal struggle. Uh huh. That's my spirit. Wonderful. So, That's great. Yeah. And it clearly is coming through, speaking <laughs> to people through your art yeah. in a powerful way. So I am yeah. looking forward to um, having people in my studio. That's it's, great. It is a lot. It is a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. Weekend. It's, but um, it's so gratifying. How about you, Anne? What does it mean to you to have open your studio up to the public? I think the part that I enjoy the most is when someone walks up the stairs into the artist muse and says, wow, Aww. I never knew this was here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You can walk by, it's open, you know, if, if the lights are on, we're there, mm. and you can walk up, but people don't know that. And yeah. so when they walk in and say, and just and just look around and walk down the hall and see all the different artists yeah. and say, wow, I never knew this was here. I never knew this was in Amesbury. Yeah. And I think just bringing the creative people and the, the art in, in Amesbury to the public and yeah. let them know that yeah this is here yeah. you can visit anytime you want um when the kids look and say can understand something or point up something out in your painting i, I think that's it's it's wonderful mm. it's just kind of bringing what's good about amesbury yes out to the yeah. to the rest of the to the yeah. rest of the world it's it's a great it's right. a great event and so it's not it, all about, oh, I'm sorry. It's no. not all about the sales. It's not yeah. all about that. that I would say yeah. a lot of artists come through. I bet. So yeah. the connection with other artists, yeah. uh, the Open Studios has grown my art community, oh. which I love. And yeah. now it's to the point where people during Open Studios come in with their paintings so I can look at them. Oh, no kidding. Which I love. Yeah, so we talk cool. about their art. They ask yeah. me just, and you know, to give feedback. And yep. I think that's beautiful. It's a dialogue. There. I love yeah. that. I love the vulnerability Wonderful. that they yeah. chose to, you know, bestow on me. Like, yeah. I feel privileged to do that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, you may have already answered the next thing I wanted to, to ask you about, but I'll ask it anyway because there might be other things. So, you know, in addition to finding out what it meant to you, I wanted to find out what kinds of things people say to you um, about what it means to them to be able to come and see an artist uh, at, at work mm -hmm. or in the presence of their own artwork. Um, and you've talked about some of the things people say, just the just wonderful discovery that you're here. <laughs> but are there other things that, that you hear people say about what it means to them and what they enjoy about being able to be in an artist's studio? I think people tend not to understand what happens in an artist's mm -hmm. studio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I get a lot of, oh, do you work here as uh -huh. well? And I think trying to explain to people, yes, this is where we work. It gets really cleaned up for open studios. So I think sometimes it's hard for people to imagine the it's tables. Like when we have company in our house, yes. right? It's exactly yes. what it's like. You know, the, the tables and the dust and the the rags on the floor. And so I think that just sort of connecting the art with the artist and yeah. where it's created and how yeah. it gets yeah. from the easel to the wall. Yeah. I think that that's um, 
that's a big part of it. I'll bet. Yeah. That's a big part yeah. of it. And there's a lot of conversation, the boldness of people. Do you make a living? Oh. oh. <laughs> Yep. I love that question. I absolutely. I, know, I usually say, do you make a living at your profession? <laughs> I get a lot of, I get a lot of, well, would you, would you take this for a baby? So there's a lot of, like, I, uh, it's, a, it's a hoot. It's just a whole fun it, weekend. It really, I love it. It really is. And, and, and you have to be kind enough to say this is this is a business yes it is mm-hmm. it is what i do yeah, but right. it is a business yeah. but, i mean we yeah. you know we yeah. have it's supplies to pay yeah. for yeah. we have yeah. studios right. to rent yeah. so it is right. a business but yeah you get some pretty pretty funny yeah. comments but you get also commissions and oh, people what? you know or you have people come back and say I bought this painting last year and I look at it every day and yes. it still brings me joy. Yes. I get oh, that a lot. A lot. Oh, it Anne. still brings me joy and that's yeah, that's course. all that's what it's about. That's what it's for. That's what and it's you about. get new artists. So you oh. get a lot of people coming in and asking, Do you think I could learn how to paint? Yeah. And I'm like, anyone, anybody. When you say you're not creative, I, I wanna I say to someone, I'm like, you can come and I'll spend three hours with you. Yeah. And I will show you how creative you I really agree. are. I agree. I 100% <laughs> agree with that. Yeah. Statement. Well, well, you know, I'm guessing that sometimes when people are asking you, you make a living at this, mm. they're probably wondering <laughs> in the back of their minds. Mm. I've always thought I might like to paint. Yes. But, you know, mm. is there money to be made in this? Mm-hmm. And could it be a livelihood? And could I leave my desk job? <laughs> you know, so I'll bet it's yeah. driven. That would be my yeah. hunch. It's hard work. Is. It is. And I believe in this day and age, making a living as an artist is so much easier. Mm. Um, than you know, 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. Social media um, really helped. It oh, takes a lot yes, more work. Right. There's more. You have to have, wear many hats. But, but you can have your own online gallery. Yes. Uh, yes. Which you couldn't have. Yes. You know, right. From 20 years yes. ago. And, and so we both can, have websites. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're both represented yeah. at uh, Thornhill Art Gallery yep. oh, in Portsmouth, okay. New Hampshire. Oh, wonderful. Yep. yep. So wonderful. there's all kinds of opportunities yeah. for artists. That's great. Yep. Well, Sally, I wanted to give you a chance to say what it means to you, because you're, you're in acting, um, but you're on the Cultural Council, and you're actively participating in this event. So what does it mean to you to be part of the Open Studios? Gosh, because um, I, I discovered Open Studios as an observer. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't even remember how I found out about it. it must have been like 15 You probably saw ago. the trolley and went, where's <laughs> that trolley going? That's right. <laughs> you know? I wanted to start singing. Um, <laughs> do you do that? Now there's a whole other idea there. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could add you know? improv acting, uh, you can have singing on the trolley. Uh, I'm sure yeah, people would love yeah. it. We, 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 <laughs> so. Actually, somebody was talking about that, having fun talking about it last year. Uh, at any rate, yeah, it's just, it, it, uh, it's seeing it. From the other side now. Yeah. Um, so yeah. going that's the true. ninth and tenth, as as last year, working the venues where the guest artists will yeah. be, um, and City Hall and the Costello Room. If there's yeah. one thing that's frustrating is that I won't have as much time to go out and oh, see. Oh, yeah. That's the hard studios. part. Yeah. yeah. I know that is. The that's a really part. hard yeah. part. That's, you don't, a, that's a trade-off. Yeah. yeah. That being yeah. said, it's 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 also great fun. Yeah. In a different way. The, the folks coming through City Hall and listening to yeah. them, you know, especially if toward the end of each day where they've been around all the other different oh, venues yeah. and to talk with them about that, yeah. what, what they've gotten out of it. And Wonderful. especially little children, the, the children, yeah. that's, that's yeah. fun to talk with them. You yeah. Know. What kind of things do you hear from the kids? Uh, always the trolley. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> where they got to go off and on and... Uh, Talking about a particular painting that they mm-hmm. liked, oh, though wonderful. they might not remember the artist or particularly where they were. Yeah, but, but they remember excitement. the joy that yeah, they felt yeah, exactly. and the excitement. Yeah. And, and they go, is, "Can I touch this?" Oh, oh, they always I that. Yeah. Can I touch that? And I'm like, "Sure, <laughs> go for it." They're like, "I can." I'm like, "Yes, I want you to." Yeah. <laughs> wonderful. I'm sure you're, you're cultivating budding artists. <laughs> Um, as a result of creating the accessibility yeah. for those kids, yeah. so that's not something uh, where you have to be yeah. quiet in a gallery, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. be, be careful not to get yeah. too close to anything. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of the antithesis to that, which is yeah. wonderful. Art is for people. Yeah. The, the other thing that I find satisfaction in, and I think is really cool, is 
everybody in the city on in, in city government is involved. We're really oh. supported mm -hmm. by oh, yeah. the city. Uh -huh. Whether it's the DPW or yeah. the police chief is helping mm -hmm. out, uh, and Mayor Gove is actually hosting the first ride around the uh, Sunday oh, no morning kidding. on the okay. trolley. So th that I think that's growing. Also, that is, mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's really great to have the support yeah. from from every yeah. angle. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thank you for that description. Thank you to all of you for your wonderful um, kind of descriptions of your experiences and the event. So we must end with the um, necessary question: How can people find out more information, <laughs> and how can they get a map of the trolley route? Mm -hmm. um, so the brochures will be out this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, you can go online to Amesbury Cultural Council. Um, you can also go, there is a website, Amesbury Open Studios. So you Google, dot com. Yeah, you can just yeah. Google um, Amesbury yeah. Open just, Studios 2024 yeah. Yeah. and that will take you right yes. to the Open Studios website. Right. So we also have a QR code yep. on, mm -hmm. online as well yeah. as on the brochures. Each so. venue will have a fold out brochure mm -hmm. with a map, each location. Mm -hmm. All the artists will be listed at mm -hmm. each location so you'll you'll know where to go on the yeah. trolley, where the trolley stops are. Mm -hmm. um, there's big flags and sandwich mm -hmm. boards so it's mm -hmm. really a pretty easy path yeah. to follow yeah. um, to follow along and it's next weekend November 9th from 10 to 5 mm -hmm. and November 10th from 11 to 4. Wonderful. Well thank you so much for taking time to visit the morning show to teach us about the process of making art and the rewards of it and the excitement of the event and the way it touches people's hearts and minds. Mm -hmm. it really it, it's really quite a wonderful um, community event. Um, and brings people together in such positive, festive ways, um, especially the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for taking time to visit the morning show. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. It's thank been you. my pleasure. That's it for today, everybody. Please join us again next Thursday at 9 for the morning show. Until then, everybody, be well. Farewell. <laughs>